internet hediophobia in here for what might be one of my final videos in a while. I've decided to enter the depths of YouTube where an elusive creature lies. <laughs> Yeah, tonight on Heliophobia, we'll be discussing RedTube, which is essentially the colloquial term for left-wing, not like left-leaning channels like Destiny, but like fully partisan left-wing influencers on the internet whose partisan biases will frequently cloud any sort of coherent thought they may have. I mean, Hassan is considered to be part of that community on Twitch. Which I mean, probably says enough about it. I'm a socialist, so I'm gonna buy a million dollar mansion that I definitely need to live comfortably. But again, Hassan is more prevalent on Twitch. There's also a bunch of prominent YouTubers who are in this community, such as trans video essays, contrapoints, and our subject for today's video, Ethan is on 9. I mean, we, we can tell. You look like a weeded out Seth Rogen if he spent like 9 hours a day on Twitter. Yeah, apparently we still need your identification of your gender in your channel bio. I mean, YouTube does have pronoun options now though, if you really care that bad. I am personally a viper because I like to take down my enemies with poison. My poison being facts and logic, not my breath, you rude ass bitch. Ethan is on Online has around 259,000 subscribers at the time of recording, and I do genuinely feel like he's one of the worst ones in this bread tube sort of community. Because I mean, I've watched YouTubers like Noah Samson in the past, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. And look, at least from time to time, their points aren't like fully stupid, but this guy manages to bring in politics into every aspect of life. Hi, Elon Musk's Cybertruck has been a controversial project, but every aspect of the Cybertruck's design actually makes it less safe? You would not be safe in the apocalypse in this thing. Also, what apocalypse? This is a very dogmatic group of consumers, often targeted by right-wing messaging. Yes, this is Ethan is online claiming that your car not collapsing at the first hit is apparently right-wing advert- What's right-wing about not wanting your car to be fragile as paper? Even if it's preying on people's fears, there's places where that fear is valid, such as California. Have you never watched a Mark Rober experiment? He can literally just leave a car down and it gets robbed like six times in the space of day and apparently wanting to protect your stuff from that is right-wing advertising i mean if being right-wing means you don't want all your stuff being stolen i'm a bloody not either way that's not the video we're going to be discussing today but i think that clip is illustrative enough of a pure brain rot in this guy as we move on to our main topic him discussing predator poachers so yeah i'm pretty sure anyone who's been on the internet for more than a couple of years may remember all the controversy surrounding edp 445 my, my favorite content creator of all time who as you should all know since july 2020 i've been frequently accused of trying to pursue you relationships with underage kids as young as 15. Oh my god, EDP, like she's 14, like she's 15. Mother, I don't give a f bitch is one. Oh, you want me to wish that happy birthday, mother, to show me some. F so until April 2021, there was no concrete evidence. Because on that month, the group Predator Poachers recorded this thing where we made the infamous excuse for why he tried to meet up with a girl he thought was 13. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake <laughs> and then go back home. Um, there was... And since then, he's basically fallen off the face of the planet, to be honest. I'm also selling my original YouTube plaque. This thing was conducted by the Predator Poachers, led by Alex Rosen, aka Chet Goldstein. His channel was also terminated alongside EDPs because of a range of allegations that were made about his methods, such as not in the EDPs thing, but in previous things before that. He was using, like, actual underage children. So one of the... So one of the decoy picks, the Hispanic boy that we use, that's my cameraman's little cousin. And the white decoy that we use, he's 17. And yeah, I met him on PS4, we're playing Madden together. And he said he was down to do it, so. So you have two minors that you use as decoys. Yes, and their parents both. And even in the way he approached the EDP sting, it wasn't really the best because it didn't really lead to any charges. Although the public awareness and him being pursued on every platform and job he got, to the point that he actually had to change his name. At least they accomplished that side. But either way, back to what I was saying. Alex Rosen, aka Chet Goldstein, has like become a professional predator hatcher at this point. I mean, he's genuinely just like Chris Hansen, minus the comedic value of the messages. She says, I don't think I want to blank the cat. No, I wasn't You're just really messing serious. around. I really wasn't serious about the cat. You gave her instructions about using Cool Whip. I mean, I can only imagine what would have been going on in this house had I not been here. You're naked, there's a 14-year-old girl, you're chasing a cat around, you've got Cool Whip. <laughs> And he's been credited in news reports of actually being the driving force for several arrests. The police chief here in Port St. Lucie tells me there is no question whatsoever that this accused is only off the streets because of the work of this nationwide group called Predator Poachers. Apparently Predator Poachers had the situation already set up. All that remains is for police to arrive and hold case accountable. Predator Poachers then provided us with the necessary evidence that they had collected on their behalf 
to effectively make an arrest. In May of 2022, he claimed that he was responsible for arrests in 27 different states and he has over 150,000 subscribers. That brings us back to Ethan is on 9. On his second channel, Pethan. <laughs> Ethan Pethan, you get the shot. Uploaded a video on the 3rd of March 2024 titled quote unquote Hunting Predators for Clout, which is purportedly a criticism of predator poachers because it shows an interview from him, as in Alex Rosen in the video, as well as predator catches in general. But hinted by the very bad like to dislike ratio of 31 percent at the time of recording it, it clearly isn't a good video even though it has over 100k views and look the thing is there are a lot of genuine points you could make against predator catchers and i know that youtubers like mike fox i don't know if he still does videos like that used to do that like for example live streaming your predator catching when you don't know if it's the right person or not or being like overly aggressive and trying to do some like vigilante justice or hell if you don't approach it like properly enough you can get in trouble for entrapment there those are all valid criticisms you could make and against predator catching channels but Ethan's ones are just like so bad faith and stupid that we do just have to dive into this and that's what we're gonna do in three two one go and yes he's gonna make it a political issue and say oh it's an evil right wing does anyone remember the guy that caught EDP by pretending to be a little girl and offering him to come to her house and then intercepting him in the parking lot. Uh, this led to a very awkward interaction as Alex has no power to arrest anyone and just decides to like milk the entire thing as long as he can for like 45 minutes asking EDP questions. And so he and his weird little cameraman are just harassing EDP and asking him a bunch of really stupid questions like, why do you do this, man? Do you know that this is bad to do? Try me if the guy's being harassed he, he's the one who chose to go there presuming he would meet someone it's not anyone else's fault he couldn't run as edp tries to walk away because legally he can alex calls the police for seemingly the first time ever with regards to this situation there's somebody here and she meet a 13 year old girl and he's oh, has multiple because he admitted everything to us on we have all these messages well, saved well, with him. To be fair, this has no bearing on Ethan's video quality, apart from the fact he could have like zoomed in or cropped out Hassan's face. But the fact that Hassan speaks so little in his streams that he's able to just pull the stream clip right there to show what he's talking about, yet Hassan cries out, commentary channels are too mean on him. Boy's reactions, uh, it, it just says everything. On him, how is it any different than him just watching YouTube video or stream? Dude, what am I supposed to do? Die? Like, I don't understand. And asks them to just come pick him up? to c come get him <laughs> like that would be awesome if that's how arresting pedophiles worked but unfortunately that is not the case <laughs> guys come get this guy hey police come get this guy I, he i pretended to be a little girl yeah no a little girl yeah and he said he wanted to have sex with me no not me the little girl i was pretending to be like what are we doing here Man yeah throughout the video he pretends as if like alex has some sort of kink that makes him want to pretend to be a little girl you'll see it like more in detail later but, i mean again with this angle he's trying to go against the edp with look you may have an inch of a point saying uh oh, edp was pushed into it if it wasn't for the fact that we have records going back at least a year before that showing he was doing it with actual children aged just 15 with audio recording evidence you do realize the only reason why this thing even happened was not to harass someone or push someone it was because there was genuinely some semblance of proof but without concrete evidence of something happening his career was going on unscathed with him claiming it was all jokes that's what i said now anybody knows damn well i'm playing i'm joking it's a fuck and considering his comedy was like squaring every three or four seconds people bought into it next he plays an interview with alex rosen where he has some even better takes 19 years old i've always wanted to be a police officer um i couldn't do that in houston texas where i'm from at 19 you got to be 21 to graduate the academy at least that's what it was a couple years ago i don't know now he doesn't want to be a cop anymore he was having way too much fun trying to be a little boy all day well i don't take off days I, I i love to work so luckily i think catching predators is the funnest thing somebody can do so it really works out well for me that so, oh he's so brain broken he doesn't take off days he just sits inside on the internet probably scrolling twitter all day long as if you don't do the same thing your username is literally ethan is online but i mean in his defense my username is literally heliophobia a username i explicitly chose last year to imply i never go outside so i don't really think i have room to speak Talking to on Facebook, pretending to be a minor every day. Unwell, unwell. This man is 23 years old and spends all day pretending to be a child on the internet. He said it's the funnest thing I can think of. His Twitter is at I fight for kids. Come on, dude. What the f 
is this? He was talking to a guy pretending to be a little girl. It's not illegal. Uh, I mean, it is in many situations. Why do you think Chris Hansen was able to do his show with police collaboration? In 90% of circumstances. And I think this applies to the UK and certain other places as well. I, I, I can use my law knowledge in A level for something now. You can genuinely be convicted of like impossible crimes where your intent is to commit the impossible crime. Now, you could be speaking to like some FBI agent over the computer. And by the way, that's an actual job they do. If it was illegal, federal investigators wouldn't be able to do it as in be online and then talk to predators but if you're partaking in the conversation genuinely believing that you're talking to a girl who's underage or something unless you can prove entrapment which is a relatively hard standard to like get to you can genuinely be arrested for that crime and look i don't see the ethics or morals issues with this because the full reason why these adults are doing it in the first place is to prevent actual children being victims i don't see why you're playing so hard to defend them there's probably also entire teams behind this is not just a single individual is getting it for kicks and even if they're doing this for money or something this is all about the money that they're making from this video i genuinely don't care if people are making money off it as long as they aren't like evil themselves you sound like one of us journalists who's complaining about mr b's making money off his videos while helping thousands of people like get cataract surgery or something being like a, oh how dare you make money from this which can be reinvested into doing more better things i'm gonna make a real change complaining on twitter so of course because the predator hunter anti dog whistles are extremely right wing in nature dog whistle for what exactly or could, could you show me where rosen has shown some like racist agenda I, if you're gonna claim that at least show something you, you you don't need to bring politics into everything he was also on tim pool's show where i think a hunter should be what bro what are you talking about man just yesterday in georgia uh, we confronted a person who was out on bond for charges and we just showed up at his house with no messages no nothing we just had a phone number associated with an app that we know and the interview was with michael knows from the daily wire that's interesting probably explains why he has to feel it's evil just because the right's doing it just yesterday in georgia uh, we confronted a person who was out on bond for charges and we just showed up at his house with no messages no nothing we just had a phone number associated with an app that we know to be related you have an app that gives you predator's phone number if he uses and then you found his address that way and then went to his house. Like, what is any of this technology? He won't name anything. He won't say what the app is called. I mean, if you weren't cherry picking points, you would have known. 90% of the time he's using Grindr. <laughs> to the point he even had a logo in his banner at some point on YouTube, which I I'm not going to make any comments about. He probably combines the information that he's got on there with like bloody192.com. Please, please don't dox me with it. He's not got access to like limited edition MI5 technology. And a simple start page search should have shown you. That. no i'm not directly promoting google because of google but i mean if you want to make a point about privacy maybe then do it instead of doing this stupid convoluted thing because if it's an evil right wing trying to hack gay people or something because they think <laughs> that a little I'm, older yeah right? they, they think that i'm mature enough to have a nine-year-old daughter <laughs> and be a too because you look like i like adult guy who is definitely only into adults. Thank you for specifying. I mean, in redneck predator show could have landed better if your videos weren't so partisan and your video wasn't coming off like you genuinely hated the dude because now it just comes off as a malicious attack. So if I were to look through all of these, there wouldn't be anything that I might be talking to you about? Shouldn't be. He's just talking to this supposed on his recliner he's in for tea with grandpa why is he like being so coy like oh i'm not gonna find anything in there if i look he's trying to play dumb and lie as if we don't have a stack of papers what's in the stack of papers what is the point of what he's doing other than clout he's such a bitch for posting so and rude about this old man after the fact when if you watch the videos he's talking to him like it's his literal grandpa i don't want to have to use the texts against you guess i gotta read them now oh no he's using mean words on potential predators so you know to a degree they do have to act nice so that people don't just like run away or bloody shoot him straight away and secondly why does he really need to show them the papers when they probably already know what they did unless they have some like mental problem or something hunter stuff is really gross really exploitative of people's emotions is it hurting your emotions so much like this dude probably makes plenty of money off this but he's not paying for therapy he's not getting these guys into like a housing that's away from like anyone they could do any harm to that has no internet he's not doing sh and he gets called a hero for it by hogs like michael no oh, i see he's one of the people who are like her uh... oh don't stigmatize people 
Billy get people help. Although it does really seem like at this point he's more concerned about the money and probably wants it for himself. Like 90% of his complaints are about the money. Man. I get YouTube ad revenues like probably low at this point. But I mean I am making absolutely nothing. Look the Robo Quest gameplay I'm using is from a bloody demo. At some point I'm probably gonna run out of levels. Also there's housing that keeps predators away from kids that already is funded by every taxpayer. Uh, pr prison. Also the way he worded this point again is like stupid. Like just taking an isolationist approach and paying for their lifestyle whilst not at least trying to solve the root causes like a quote unquote destigmatization approach would make. This is just stupid. Probably this guy's gonna end up being the next Alden Bunak. Yeah that tale is a story of three images. One of the memes of all time. But look I'm genuinely done at this point. I don't know what this guy is trying to imply overall and I don't see why he's like so invested in defending potential pedophiles. I mean look they all have a right to a fair trial at the end of the day. They're not all being arrested and convicted straight away if that provides you any reassurance. As for me I can reassure you I don't have memory loss. And say I was too lazy to cover the Noah Samson and Think Before You Sleep drama. Uh, I think that works. Anyway, you've been watching Heliophobian. My at on all social media is Heliophobian. Besides Twitter slash X, where it has an underscore at the end. And I'll see you next time. If there is a next time. Uh, I mean, there will be. I just genuinely don't know when, to be honest.